Okay, so time to read some diagnostic trouble codes. OBD1 system linked to OBD2 port. Hmm. Yeah, highly annoying, but that's what it is. So I've got a probe, or I've got a, a lead into pin 16 of the OBD2 port. That goes to the positive end of an LED. Uh, I've then got um, and another lead which I'm going to plug into focus. I'm going to plug into pin three. If I can. Just move this other one up. Plugging that into pin three of the OBD port. That red one is connected to the negative side of the LED. Then I've got the yellow one, which you can plug into pin four or five of the OBD2 port and that is also connected to the negative side of the LED but it goes through this momentary push button switch first um, so if I push the button the light comes on now nothing's going to happen at the moment because the vehicle needs to be the ignition needs to be on in order for the uh, diagnostic function to work so I'm going to turn the ignition on let's just get rid of any music in case copyright comes for us so as you can see well you can't see right now but if I were to start the engine we'll wait for the uh, Wait for the lights to go out. Right, so we've got a park light. If I let the park brake go off, if I let the parking brake off, that goes off. We've got a, a lambda light which tells us there's an error code and we've got a, a light bulb uh, fault light that's because I have installed LED bulbs so I know about that there's no faults with any of the bulbs I've just chosen to spend less money on LEDs that don't have um, error free cancelling technology attached to them because half the ones you buy that do have that don't actually work properly and they still cause the error and I wasn't sure whether this uh, vehicle was equipped with um, you know an intelligent monitoring system that was good enough to uh, know when there's an LED fitted or not so I just went with the cheap option and uh, you know I can either upgrade all the LEDs in the future to pre-resisted ones which will show up um, which will stop the, the error light from coming on should I say or I can go back to halogen or I can just uh, pop the little bulb out on the back of the dials and that light will go away but for now it doesn't bother me that one that does bother me we don't like this one there's a, there's a problem so Let's diagnose it. So let's just pop the engine back off, pop the ignition back on, so we know that the uh, the engine light's on. We want to know why that is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the button for about two seconds. One, two. Then we're going to count the flashes. One. Three, two, 
So there's an error code 132. Let's press it again for two seconds. See if we've got a different one. Two. Two. Three. See if there's any more. One. Two. One. Any more for any more? Two. Three. Two. Any more? One. One. Three. Any more? One. Three. Two. That's the same as the first one, which means we've gone round, so we've got past all of them. That's fine. So, I don't know which ones of these are old, which ones of these are new, which ones of these are current or just stored. So, now that we've read them all, I'm going to go ahead and hold the button down for seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then the light should come on by itself. It flashed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let off. And another flash. I thought that was meant to come on solid, but I don't know, let's see. So if we now start the engine, will the engine light go away? Uh, it won't just yet. Maybe we're doing something wrong. Let's try again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six seven whilst it's on and then we let off and the engine light has gone off now i know it looks like it's still on a little bit but that's just because um i have upgraded the lights to led behind here and there's a little bit of voltage leak into this bulb i don't know why that is i think it must be a, a small um subsidiary current just running through from the uh, from the ECU it'll be a few millivolts or something or you know maybe maybe one volt or something just um, to monitor the bulb status I'm guessing or, or it may just be you know like a, 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 a data uh, current but that is off uh, before it was much brighter like the one you can see there that's lit up for the for the bulbs and it is not like that now so we've got that off now and that is uh, all we needed so now what we need to do to just confirm that we have correctly cleared all the codes we can now scan again to see if there's any codes so one two of the button what do we get back we get a one A one and a one. That code one 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 means no faults. So that means that there's potentially no faults with the system. Now, obviously, if I drive it and the light comes back on, 
they may be faults still apparent and if that does happen I will record the faults and I'll look into it and, and diagnose exactly what is causing those faults and fix the problem so all we have to do now is use it and uh, see if the see if any trouble codes come back and, and if they do um, figure out what they are